Hello and welcome to an all new Comic Corner. I am as always Steven. Today, talking about Faithless 2, issue 4. Now, I'm continue reading this because uh, we're continuing to buy them so we can get the connecting covers and eventually frame them up on the wall or some shit like that. And I have to say, this story is kind of confusing. Like, it's like a month between each issue I read. And, like, other than issue 2 to 3, there's nothing, like, cohesive. And, uh... It just keeps being the same. This one starts off. Faith is at the gallery. Her showing. And uh, she's talking to. Um, critics. And stuff. And uh, then. It shows her. Uh, back in her apartment. She's sleeping. She gets up, finds her uh, manager, I think he's her manager, in the living room looking through her sketchbooks. And they talk a few minutes, and she's like, uh, she was going to walk around the city to look for uh, some uh, inspiration of her art. For her art, I mean. And the guy's like, that's cool. I got jet lag, I just fucking uh, flew here, uh, and I'm going to crash soon. So, uh, they take in a split, and she goes searching the town, checking it out. She finds, I think they called it the Devil's Door, which is like a door with a devil face on it that's on a bank. It could be a real place. I don't know. I've never been to turn. And uh, she meets a guy. And they take in. He gives her the tour of Torn. And. She goes to. She has. She gets a text saying. Hey did you forget you're going to meet me. And so. The guy takes her to. Check out the. Um, well. They head to where she's supposed to meet. Oh, shit. That was unprofessional. Uh, to meet her manager at a villa. On the way there, they stop, check out the sunset, and then they fuck. And when they get, as they're doing it, like, this guy's, like, ramming her hardcore. And, uh, he's getting blood all over, all over the side of his face. And when she's done, or they're done, you find out that the guy she'd been spending the day with was a ghost. And he's like, oh, how was that? She's like, it was like masturbation, but deeper. This miniseries um, title is weird as hell. I tell you what. Uh, and then the, uh, guy disappears, and a wolf comes up, growling at her, he's like, Rrr, and then walks up and licks her face, and it turns into her manager, and he's like, I was browsing the city, and I found your palette, meaning, the uh, colors she's going to use for paint. And the last, like, panel shows him and her in the middle of the woods with a line of naked women going down a hill. Weird, weird, weird. I do not recommend this. I actually, no, no. I want people to feel my pain. Go read this. Most of it's confusing. Like, it's not like they jump around time a lot, 
but there's like little gaps. Hopefully, the last two at, uh, issues make a little bit more sense because I'll be reading those to come out next month, which is October and November. And like, I don't, I don't even know how what to say. Like, parts parts of the story I dig, and other parts are just weird but go check it out let me know what you think in the comment section below if you've read it and should i get should i like reread it when i get all the books maybe it will make more sense reading it um in order all at once like you know how there's some movies that you gotta watch the thing straight through maybe this is a title that you gotta read the comics all the way through in one setting so yeah i guess with that faithless 2 issue 4 check it out or don't but if you do let us know what you thought about it in the comment section below and until next time i will see you later